Hey you guys, um, so I already posted a video yesterday. I was um, filming another, um, like more of like a short form vertical video and uh, I was making a steak. I was dressed up as Ace from One Piece. So um, I've left over just a little bit of steak here that I'm gonna cut up and make like a nice steak and egg. Cause that's like a nice American breakfast, I would say. Goes together really well. So just a little bit of steak, I'm gonna cut up and um, scramble with egg, a little bit of toast. I've been trying to stop, I've been trying to not drink as much coffee as I was. Just cause you know, I would go out and you get like a latte or an Americano. So now I've been drinking a lot of tea. So I have like green tea from the restaurant I work at. I would take a pouch um, after I work and then I would, next morning I make some green tea. But all right, let me show you how, it's super easy. Um, this will be like a short video, but um, I'll cut up the steak and then scramble the eggs and then I'll show you how it goes. All right, as you can see, I already kind of cut up a little bit from last night. So I just have a couple chunks of steak right here and I'm gonna cut it up into small bite-sized pieces. It's nice, you know, I don't really eat a lot of red meat anymore because mostly I just mostly eat fish and chicken. I think partly because red meat is kind of expensive. Now, this steak was like 15, a little more than $15. But if you can get like two or three meals out of it, you know, that's kind of worth it. Let me just do it. Um, that's, that's kind of a lot of steak already. I'll just do one other small slice piece right there. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, it's, it's raw in the middle, but maybe it is a little undercooked. But that's the beauty of making something like this, you know. You can have, you can reheat it up in a pan in the morning for breakfast. Now we got a you know, bowl. I mean, I do like two eggs. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a lot of protein. And the one thing you guys gotta keep in mind is when you're eating something with a lot of protein in it, like this meal, for example. Oh, fuck. Guys, not just believe what happened, oh my God. I was trying to scramble the eggs and my phone that I usually set up on a shelf with a little uh, medium, medium weight cup on the corner of it so it gets that um, above um, like the bird's eye view, it, uh, it dropped in the eggs. Come on. That's messed up guys. That's so messed up. Um, so I think we're going to continue the rest of the video just like this because you know what? That's it. But. I, I don't want to drop, I don't want to drop nothing nowhere anymore. All right, so we got a little tea that I just kind of took from the restaurant. Hope my manager does not see this video. Then again, I feel like I don't get paid a lot of money. Uh, green tea, health benefits, a lot. Um, as again, I do not have a mug. So this, is the, this is my little cup right now. And uh, we got, and I don't have like a water heater, water kettle, so I have a little pot of boiling water. And then we're just gonna do a little alchemy. That's a good amount of tea in the morning, I would say. It's quite a bit of tea. So we'll put this to the side while it steeps, and then we'll get cracking on these steak and eggs. So like I said, um, you guys don't even see how eggs are scrambled. Um, but you gotta believe me when I say the eggs are in here. Oh man, I hope, I hope my phone's okay after that. No like bits of egg got into my, my speaker or something. But, so I'm gonna put the pan on like a heat, on like a medium heat um, for it to heat up. I'll put some oil in there. And um, we'll kind of cook the, uh, we'll cook the steak first. And I'll put maybe a little bit of butter in there and then we'll um, we'll heat up the eggs, kind of like scramble together. But as I was saying, when you're eating something with a lot of protein in it, just for the sake of your stomach and digestive system, 
definitely eat some vegetables first, first. But you know, if not, you can't eat it first, eat it as well. So I just have some broccolis that I had for dinner as well. It's just, there's some broccolis you can buy. You need them pre-cut um, in like a bag or something. Um, and I just put these in boiling water for like a minute. Mm. Not really good. Mm -hmm. I need some butter. Um, olive oil. It's a little bit. So make sure it doesn't stick. But I think my pan's like good enough. I don't have to worry about that. And um, yeah, guys, when you wake up first in the morning, instead of eating like cereal, like bread, um, see if you can eat something that's has more fiber in it, like fruit or even like broccoli. It's even weird, weird to think, but mm, that's good. All right. So I'm going to put the steak in the pan. Grab with one hand, I guess. A handful of steak. Guys, can you hear that sizzle? <laughs> I can't even show you, it's so annoying. But I can put my phone back up on that ledge because there's no more eggs in there anymore, so that's good. But. Yeah. Maybe have another piece of broccoli. Guys, it'll change your life. You'll feel so much more energized when you're eating something like this first thing in the morning instead of, I don't know. And what else would you eat in the morning for breakfast? You know, instead of like not eating anything, only drinking coffee or cigarettes. Been heating up. A little bit of steak in there. And I put a little bit of cheddar cheese in these eggs. You can see, you kind of pour them in down, right there. And then if this is on the heat, yeah, obviously it's on the heat, but you kind of like tilt it back. You can kind of see how the eggs are cooking in one corner. Look at how non-stick this, this pan is. All right, but obviously I can't finish cooking it here, but the whole idea is you kind of let it cook and you kind of, kind of pull this to one side and then you let the eggs run in over there and you can see this side's getting cooked a little bit more so you kind of pull this in on this side and you add more egg over here so just kind of that's how i like to make um i guess you know an omelet or like a scrambled egg or something so i'm gonna put this back on the heat and i'll kind of show you the final product as you can see we got a nice egg scramble i'm not gonna really call this um like an omelet maybe i, I had hopes of it um as an omelet as first just as probably my parents had hopes for me of being something a little bit more respectable um, when I was younger, but you know, this is what you get. I got a cute little pan right here. And it's just, this is a really heavy, um, did I say pan? I meant plate. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, we got some cheesy um, steak scrambled eggs. Let's go along with this. Maybe I'll do like, um, just have some, ooh, almost dropped it again. I just have some um, fresh cut fruit, some pineapple right here. Guys, there's one thing you can take away from this video. Eat pineapple. This is super good for your stomach. It'll make you feel a lot more energized. Really good for your like um, digestive system. I don't know why. It's because pineapple has a lot of bromelain. But my tip, eat the ones that are more white than yellow. Because this means it's a lot less sweet, which I mean, I guess it just means it's like, like there's less sweetness in it and um, more fiber, which is how fruit really is supposed to be before genetically modified. I'm going to helicopter or something. I'm going to go along with it. I just got some of that sourdough. Um, I'm gonna put some butter on this, but maybe not. Mm. I forgot to put salt on the egg, so I'm gonna definitely put some salt and pepper there. But yeah, guys, super simple recipe, honestly. Um, I'll put some salt and we'll do a little taste test. 
All right, you guys, we made it. Um, we got our... All right, you guys, we made it. Um, we have our green tea in a measuring cup. Still kind of hot, but let's take a sip. Mmm, a little bit of caffeine in the morning. Really nice. So let's see our breakfast. We got some uh, steak and eggs with some cheese and some sourdough toast with some butter. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't have to tell you. This is just, I'm just cooking. All right. Um, piece of steak. Mmm. That's good. I always say, I always say that. That's good. But it is good. Um, I think that the, this is a New York strip steak. Oh, it's expensive, man. It's like an hour of la of my labor for me to afford this this piece of meat. But it tastes really good. I don't know. I saw something where it's like if you eat too much red meat, it's not good for your stomach. But I don't, sorry, I was always taught to not eat and talk at the same time, but. I'm trying to keep your attention here, so I'm not going to do like 30 seconds of me chewing. But I guess I was always, I would say I was always taught to not talk while you chew, but guys, we're friends, you know, we're friends. It's not a first date. Um, but after eating the broccoli and like the few pieces of pineapple chunks, I can probably eat this. And then afterwards, you know how when you eat something and then directly afterwards, you're, you're like really, really tired. Like, you know, you eat, you eat a big lunch and you got to like lie down for like 30 minutes. I think that's mostly because there's too much sugar and salt and fat as well. Um, so there's a lot of sugar in the, in the bread. I guess there's salt in the steak and the eggs and with all the protein. So without the fiber to sort of like protect your stomach in the first place, you're gonna feel like not that good. <laughs> but mm. bread and butter. Who doesn't like bread and butter? I mean, unless you're vegan, you use vegan butter. But guys, and the cheese I used was just like some cheddar cheese. Let's get a bite with some cheese. Mm. Oh, you thought I dropped that. But I have a piece of bread waiting to catch it. Oh. Cheese is good. I've been trying to not smoke cigarettes as much. And cheese has a quality. I don't know what it's called. It just improves your mood. Try to eat food that improves your mood, you know. Like, I think fish, cheese, eggs. Guys, do not sleep on eggs. You see how many eggs I eat? They are the cheapest superfoods on the market. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you around.